Oh. Hey, hey, Doc. I'm having these pains in my tummy. Uh, can you help me figure out what it is? Well, yes. No, not a problem at all. Let me just have a look inside. Yeah, uh, well, uh, isn't there another way we could do this? Actually, there is. It's called an x-ray, a revolutionary workaround that allows medical professionals to see inside our bodies without actually opening up our bodies. But just what is the X factor behind an x-ray's power? Let's scan for some answers right now on Owl Connected's general knowledge. So let's start with what an x-ray actually is. No, not the machine, the ray itself. An x-ray is a type of electromagnetic radiation. There are other types, including radio waves, infrared, ultraviolet, and all visible light. X-rays are the second highest energy category of electromagnetic radiation. Their most special trait? They pass through most objects and substances. Most, but not all. We owe our knowledge of x-rays to a Bavarian physicist named Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen who accidentally discovered them in 1895. During some experiments with electricity, he discovered that a mysterious energy was penetrating the black cardboard shielding that he had set up. Soon after, he discovered the X-ray's amazing potential. He took the first X-ray image of a living thing, an image of his wife's hand that showed the bones inside. Which brings us to the big question about X-rays and how the machines that use them work. As we mentioned, X-rays will pass through some things, but not all things. An X-ray shot at the body will pass easily through skin, hair, muscle, and other tissue. But bones and teeth? Nope. Those absorb the X-rays. Ditto for foreign objects like metal or rocks. An X-ray machine is simply a device that fires an array of X-rays at a part of the body that the doctor wishes to see inside of. On the other side of that part of the body is something known as a detector. In the past, detectors would have been photographic material that would have absorbed the x-rays that pass through the body. These days, we have digital detectors, which take the x-ray information and turn it into a computer image. No matter the exact technology, the principle remains the same. The x-rays will pass seamlessly through most of the body, but they are stopped by the bones. This casts a shadow upon the detector in an image of the bones. And with that, you can see inside the body. X-rays are extremely useful at correctly diagnosing broken or fractured bones. They can also be used to precisely locate accidentally swallowed objects, as well as things that have penetrated the skin but cannot be seen. They revolutionize medicine immediately, turning surgical guesswork into a field of incredibly precise care. One other thing that you may have heard about X-rays, they're not exactly good for the body. As a form of high energy radiation, it is dangerous to be exposed to them for very long. That's why you'll find people wear things like lead aprons during an x-ray procedure. The lead blocks the x-rays. Fortunately, a modern x-ray image can be captured in a fraction of a second. This length of exposure is extremely safe, especially when weighed against the benefit of learning so much about a person's body. Well, wasn't that revealing? And if you're looking for more such insights, we have great news. We have a whole new season of these videos underway. So click below and subscribe so that you never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.